Uh, welcome to this evening's presentation. My name is Luke Tayloride. I am the Vice President of Community Engagement uh, at Future Generations University. And I have the privilege of welcoming, welcoming you all tonight to, uh, to uh, tonight's presentation. Uh, I will say a bit more about what the Community Engagement Division does and, and the university. I'll have that opportunity here momentarily, but I wanted to go ahead and, and kick us off by welcoming you all, thanking you all for being here, and also introducing uh, the co-panelists to tonight's presentation, our new um, Senior Director of Communications and Marketing at Future Generations University, uh, Ms. Deborah Southsauer. So Deborah, over to you to give it give the agenda, and then I'll, I'll tell a bit more about, about why we're all here. But. Thanks, Luke. Welcome everybody. Well, what we're gonna to do tonight is give you the official announcement and details about the very new program that we're launching this winter called the Appalachian Film Series. So um, Luke will tell you, we'll give some context about the university and our work that's based in Appalachia. Uh, and then I will share more details about sort of the whys of, that we are launching this program the schedule for films for the 2024 series. And then I have all of the trailers and previews for the films and episodes that we're including in this year's series that will play. And then we'll open it up to questions and comments at the end. Um, so without further ado, I'll turn it back over to Luke so he can tell you more about Future Generations University and our community engagement program in Appalachia. Thanks, Deborah. And once again, welcome everyone. I'm excited to get a chance to talk to uh, probably, hopefully, a new audience, but about some very familiar work, and and hopefully, um, that'll be of interest to you all. And also, in the context of this exciting new opportunity in Appalachia with the film series, and I think it's it's really exciting to to be branching into this because. Future Generations University, if, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is best described as a university that's of and for community, okay? We, we both work in community, we come from communities, we're based in, in community, and also our mission and purpose is to look at and have conversations, and, and that extends into education, um, about what it means to have a sustainable and equitable future in these communities. And these communities as in the 21st century, as we all know, we are a global community. So sometimes these conversations might be virtual happening around the world in our global network. Other times they're very local, like our uh, local groups and our students who are working in peer recovery here in Appalachia at present or, or amongst our maple producers. But in all these cases, the common thread in all the conversations at Future Generations, and certainly those that we lead in the Community Engagement Division, are, are with community. They're with representatives of community, and we're asking questions about what it means, how we can all collectively advance together to, to have a better collective future. Uh, in 2013, I was lucky enough to get to transition from having worked in our international programming in Afghanistan and, and India and Nepal and China uh, to starting our Appalachian work here in, in the heart of West Virginia. And we felt it was really important to be serving our, our, our neighbors and serving our home. Uh, and so, as I said, that led me to have the opportunity for almost two years to go around the, the state and the region and join conversations about what about community and what it meant for Appalachia to have a sustainable future. Those conversations led me into some pretty interesting uh, areas. And one area I, that it took me that I never would have expected was maple syrup, which many people think comes from Vermont or Canada. But it turns out that in the maple syrup industry and now a broader conversation that we get to have and facilitate at future generations is the conversation about what does a just or, or what does a new economy look like for Appalachia? And the conversation we found through our work with maple syrup is that this conversation revolves around Appalachia's forests, 
and its people and its culture. When we bring these three elements together in Appalachia, we have areas where we are very rich. Appalachia is always described as being poor. Okay, and it's true that we have been largely victimized by private industry and extractive industry. They have extracted the wealth as well as the morale from our region. But we still have our forests and we still have our people. And when I heard about this film series, I got really excited because I think that film is such a great way to begin to capture this conversation we've been having for years now in the Appalachian program about what, what are the questions before community and, and what does a equitable or sustainable future look like for Appalachian communities? Uh, we've had the opportunity, as I said, to have this conversation with farmers, foresters, landowners throughout the region, uh, now budding business owners, entrepreneurs, and, and uh, agritourism are increasingly part of the conversation. But I think that with film, we now have the opportunity to take this conversation even further because underpinning all of this is our culture and, and our culture is tied. Appalachian culture is embedded in its evolution with its place and, and its natural and ecological history. So uh, I hope that helps give some context in terms of why we're, what we're going to be hoping to explore in this film series. And, and also how we see it as really helping to propel our, the broader conversation that our mission advances, both here in the region, as well as hopefully globally with our international partners about looking at representations to start a conversation about how we can all create a sustainable and equitable future together. Over to you, Deborah. Luke, thank you so much. That's it's fabulous context and you've set it up perfectly because as you've outlined, Future Generations University is rooted in community and that community is inextricably linked to Appalachia. Appalachia is where our home is, where we've been headquartered for the better part of 20 to 30 years. Um, our missions and our programs in, in Appalachia and across the globe touch on that. And that's what the stories and conversations that we can explore through this film series will touch on. Um, for too long, Appalachia has not been seen as the leader that we are in community development. The intrinsic values and traditions and culture that have developed in Appalachia can add value to the conversation to people across the, across the country and across the world. And likewise, it's been hard for people in Appalachia perhaps to see some of that value in the rich artistic and storytelling and cultural traditions without out, other outside perspectives coming in. It's important to create this space for meaningful, intentional focus on Appalachia and the broad and diverse backgrounds. And this is how we can foster an environment of learning and growth in community. Plus it's <laughs> fun to watch movies. And so it'll be an enjoyable experience to come together and watch films with your family, with your friends, and kind of carve out a little bit of space to, to have these conversations and to join university faculty, research faculty and staff. We're gonna have experts on and professionals in cinema and storytelling and leaders in the Appalachian community for panel discussions following every film. And we also invite your participation um, through questions and comments. Ultimately, we're gonna examine complex qualities of Appalachian culture, the good and the bad. And we're gonna use the lens of film and television to be able to explore those stories and empower us to build community together and see how the films and the episodes and the ideas and maybe even some of the, the themes can relate to our lived experience now and we can share too what the university programming does that thematically connects to what we watch. This is our schedule for the film series this year. We're gonna be conducting these programs through Zoom as a webinar, but you can sign up for that link and you'll be signed up to be able to watch all five of the, the evening programs throughout the series. And you'll get reminder emails when you do that. We're gonna do this series on Monday evening, starting at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll introduce the film and the panel 
very briefly, and then we have space to screen the film. So you'll have uh, explicit instructions each time about how to watch that film. So we'll all watch it in tandem, and then we'll come back together at eight o'clock uh, following the film with a panel of experts selected to talk about the themes and ideas and stories told in each of those films. We have some amazing films and episodes to share with you in community. You can find all of the information um, and it will be expanded as details get confirmed on future.edu slash Appalachian film series. The QR code on your screen right now will take you to the website where you can register for the webinar series and be able to join us on Mondays. Um, and you can see the schedule here. I also want to share that there will be sponsorship opportunities. So if you have any interest um, in learning more about sponsoring the film series and joining us and presenting this program to our community, you can contact me and my email is deborah.sossower at future.edu. Our sponsorship opportunities will include recognition and acknowledgement of our sponsors in each of the programs. Our watch party, we're going to host a watch party at the university on April 8th, and we're going to have the directors here to answer questions in person. And then we're going to find three other community partners across the state who will help host watch parties for their communities. And um, we'll work with these organizers and these friends to bring representatives from the university, as well as uh, people connected to O Pioneer, whether that's filmmakers or some of the um, talented artists and community leaders that are featured in the film, just as an opportunity for people in the community to meet some of the individuals who came together to make that film possible. Um, so there's going to be a chance across West Virginia to be able to, to gather and kind of make it more of an event and welcome the spring. And then we'll still have the panel discussion following the film that will be screened across the state and across our universe with the, with the filmmakers answering questions. Well, I will say again, thank you very much for coming. You can find more information on future.edu slash Appalachian Film Series. Mark your calendars for the 12th of February and join us at 530 and uh, we will be showing Wild River. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate you uh, participating tonight and we'll see you in February. Thanks everyone.